Hello and welcome to the Catillo Multi Selection Solid and Sweep tutorial. In this lesson you'll learn how to create and use planes, sweeps, and multi selection solids. To begin, we'll go up here and enter the part workbench and we'll select the bottom plane. Now go up to the top to the planes button and it allows us to create a new plane on our part. We have many options for how we want it, but in this case we'll do offset from plane by two inches. Check the repeat object after OK, which means after I click OK, it allows me to repeat it. Just want it one more time. And there we go. Start by entering this bottom plane. We'll do a circle from the origin of three inches. Enter the next plane up, do the same thing, but four inches. Find the last plane, four and a half inches. Now we're ready to use the multi-selection solid feature. This will allow us to create a body going from that plane to that plane through that plane. So go over here, click multi-selection solid, and select the profiles we want to use. Make sure that the closing points are all just about in line and the arrows coming off of each closing point are going the same direction. If they aren't going the same direction, the part will twist and not be able to loft it out like this. Click OK, and we now have a loft for a cup. To create a handle on this cup, I'm going to enter the side plane and sketch the side profile of what we want this handle to look like. To give a profile for what we want the handle to be, enter this plane and use the spline feature from that point adjust it however we'd like then exit. Now we're going to use the rib feature. It tells us to select our profile, which is this, and our center curve now, which is this. Gives us a little bit of a preview. So click OK. There we go. Now I have a handle. To hollow out the center of this, we need to create one extra plane off this bottom at 0.25 inches. This will be the bottom of our inner surface. Enter sketch around that plane and do a slightly smaller circle. That way we've got the shape of the mug that will come down. Enter onto this plane. The same thing. Then finally enter the top plane. To hollow out the center of this, we use the Remove Multi-Selection Solid button. And similar to what we did before, just select the profiles, check the closing points and the arrows, then click OK. There we go. We've now hollowed out our mug. Do a quick fillet on each side. And 
and on that side. And there we go. That concludes the multi-selection solid and sweep lesson.